In this video, I'm going to build a simple live crypto market screener in Python. The objective is very practical. Pull live market data, compute a few basic metrics and rank markets so you can immediately see where activity is concentrated. If you're doing trading or quantitative research, for instance, there's always a decision that comes before everything else. Which markets are even worth looking at right now? A screener kind of formalizes that step. It narrows the universe before you apply strategies, models, or deeper analysis. This is not a trading strategy and it's not meant to predict returns. It's just a small utility that sits upstream in the workflow, a first pass filter that helps you allocate attention more efficiently. I'm keeping the stack intentionally minimal. Python, CCXT for exchange data and pandas for analysis. No paid APIs, no dashboard, no infrastructure, no BS. The goal here is clarity and robustness, not complexity. The first step is market data. I'm pulling open, high, low, close volume candles from Binance using CCXT, but the exchange itself isn't the important part. You can use whatever exchange you're interested in. What does matter is consistency. Same time frame and same look back window across all symbols. That way, any comparison we make across markets is actually meaningful rather than an artifact of mismatched data. There is literally nothing clever going on here, just aligned inputs. Once we have the data, we compute three simple metrics. First, short-term returns. Not to forecast price, but to capture recent movement. Second, rolling volatility. This highlights where price action is expanding or contracting. And third, relative volume. Compares current volume to recent history, which helps identify markets attracting unusual attention. None of these are exotic. The value comes from computing them consistently across the entire market. You'll notice the code is deliberately compact and readable. I'm not walking through every line here, but the full runnable version is available for members if you want to work with it directly. Then I'm aggregating everything into a single table. This table is the screener. Instead of manually scanning charts, we rank markets by metric of interest, here in this case volatility, and focus only on the top entries. You can change the ranking logic, obviously depending on your use case, but the structure stays the same. To keep the screener useful, we simply refresh it on a fixed interval. This isn't low latency infrastructure, updating every few minutes is more than sufficient for research discretionary training or signal generation. In practice, this kind of polling is simple and reliable. Just as a side note, you could build this using WebSockets or streaming data, and I've done that in the past, I think somewhere in last year, especially if you need second by second updates or automated execution. For a screener like this, polling is usually the right trade-off. If you'd like a follow-up where I build a WebSocket-based version, I'm very happy to do it. Let me know in the comments. I'll do that one separately. Now let's put this all in perspective. The right way to think about a screener like this is a pre-processing step. You screen first, then apply strategies, models, or deeper analysis only to the most relevant markets. It's a very small tool, but it removes a lot of unnecessary noise from the overall workflow. If you want to work with the full code, including a clean, runnable version you can extend, that's available through the channel as usual. Important part here isn't the exact implementation, it's understanding how a simple screener fits into a real workflow. Keep it simple, understand what each metric is measuring, and treat this as a building block rather than an end product. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And look forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Just bye. Bye.